New Year's Eve, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the Cotton Bowl, the college football playoff semifinal, Cincinnati taking on Alabama, and the Tide are a 13-and-a-half point favorite. The Cotton Bowl would not disclose publicly the gifts that they give to their teams. That is an interesting way of going about it. I will tell you that. So who knows what the bowl gifts are here. I will go ahead and tell you the direction that I think that this game is going to go. I think Alabama is going to win. I think Cincinnati is going to cover. I think Cincinnati is a really, really good football team. What you saw from Alabama against Georgia is not the Alabama that you have seen all season. Now, did Alabama find a way to just flip a switch? Possibly. We've seen it from them before. We've seen it from other teams before. When they get into a crisis situation where it is win or go home, obviously Alabama has the players and the wherewithal to flip that switch and completely dominate players. I understand. Or completely dominate the other team. I get that. Cincinnati's a really good defensive football team. I think they'll be able to make Bryce Young uncomfortable. I don't know how the Alabama offensive line is going to work in this game. I don't think Georgia brought a ton of pressure because I don't think they felt like they had to manufacture it. I think they thought they could get pressure with four down linemen and the switch to the third string center for the Alabama offensive line, that obviously made a massive, massive change. So the Alabama offensive line played better against Georgia than they have really anybody else. I don't know that since he has the depth I don't know that since he has the strength in the trenches to be able to handle Alabama enough to win a ball game. I do think they can get in there and do just enough crazy stuff with Desmond Ritter at quarterback, with him running the ball, etc. They can find ways to get points and make Alabama uncomfortable, both on offense and defense. The thing that I think is going to win the game for Alabama I believe, will be their tight end play. Cameron Latu and Jaleel Billingsley, I think, are the two weapons that Cincinnati on defense does not have an answer for. Uh, Obviously, everybody has talked about Sauce Gardner and Kobe Bryant, the defensive backs. I I think they are going to be fine against Alabama's wideouts. I don't believe there's anybody in the middle of the field for Cincinnati that can handle Alabama's tight ends. And, of course, if you back off of the line of scrimmage, you give Brian Robinson the ball, They'll find a way to at least get some rushing yards. They're not going to be super successful because they haven't been all season. They're not a very good rushing offense. If You you can just go look at the numbers. They had not been great. They cannot get third and one when they need third and one. Now, I don't know that that's the case against Cincinnati, but either way, I think Cincy has a chance to win this game. I really do. If you make Bryce Young, you get a couple of turnovers, and you really, really make this thing tight, I, you... Since he's got a chance to win. So I'm going to take Cincy plus 13 and a half because it feels like it's just way too many points here. So I will certainly, certainly ride with the Bearcats on that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.